What's up everybody, Z Farls here with your 2018 guide to live streaming. Now, before we get started, three quick questions that I get all the time. Number one, is it too late? No, it is not too late to start a channel in gaming, in video, in streaming, on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook, on Mixer. It doesn't matter, you are not too late. Number one, get it out of your head. Number two, what if nobody watches? Well, I got bad news. I can almost guarantee you nobody is going to watch at the start of your channel, but through some tips we're gonna talk about in this video, as well as going over some of the equipment that you'll need, you will get people to watch slowly over time, so don't worry about it right away. Number three, what if I don't know what to say? Well, the good news is the more and more you do it, the more you practice, the more you get viewers in your chat, the more comfortable you'll get talking out loud while you're playing video games. It is something that takes some time to get used to. There's a lot of people out there that have great technical knowledge, but they get nervous about what they're gonna say. On the flip side, number four, there's a lot of people out there who have lots to say or feel they have lots to say, but don't know the first thing about setting up a computer or a capture card or a microphone, and they get nervous, not about what they're gonna talk about, but how they're gonna be able to technically go live so that they can spread whatever message that they're looking to get out there. The most important thing when you're streaming is of course internet. So this is really where we should start. You wanna go over to speedtest.net and check your internet speeds. Download, not as important as upload. You're probably gonna see a pretty big number on the download side. Upload, look, a lot of packages have one, two. You really wanna try and get to five, possibly 10. And also, it's really about consistency of that internet over time, not just big spikes because that can hit you as well. That's one of the most frustrating areas I see is streamers getting frustrated by their internet if it's dropping out while they're streaming. If I think you might need to upgrade your package to get to five, um, one and two pretty default from the areas I've been and the internet services I've had, and I've had all of them over the, uh, all the areas that I've lived. So check that out. Hopefully you have five. You might have to call, upgrade your package. You might have to convince your parents to upgrade it for you. Could you get away with two straight from your Xbox? Possibly, but really try and get to five upload. So once you've done that, you want to look at the hardware that you need. You do need some hardware, whether it is an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, both of which you can stream to Twitch live. You can then go on to Twitch, pull down your clips and edit them on your computer. Maybe some of you guys want to stream from mobile. Uh, some of you guys want to stream PC games. You can either have one PC for streaming and one for gaming, or you can do it all on one machine that's a little bit more powerful. Those are some options. Some equipment, a microphone. You can start with just a set of headphones or a speaker, but you really do want to upgrade within the first couple months to a Yeti or a Snowball, kind of about $100, usually on sale on Amazon. Mic, because it just really does help the overall quality of your stream. The other thing I think is the most important is a capture card. That is this right here. Uh, this is the Elgato. Look, I've used Dazzle, I've used Hophog, I've used Elgato 60, 60S, 60 Pro, 60 whatever. Every single kind of Elgato there is I've used. So those, that's one thing that you will want to pick up. Uh, lots and lots of capture cards out there. Basically, from your Xbox, in, HDMI out to your TV, and then a USB that plugs into your laptop. So laptops or computers, you definitely will want one. I know I said you can stream straight from the Xbox or the PS4, and you can, and it's good enough, and you should get started and not worry about having the computer, but if you do have the capture card, let us know in the comments what type of computer you have and we'll see if we think it can hold up uh, with streaming from a computer program. So you take basically Xbox through the capture card to the computer and then back out to the internet as just instead of just using the Xbox. So that's one thing you want to consider. Camera wise, that goes along with the microphone. It's probably a good idea to have one. Uh, you can start with a Kinect. They're probably giving those away by now, but also a Logitech that I'll link in the description is a webcam that's pretty much the default choice for most streamers out there. Not that expensive. You put it right on your monitor that you're playing on and just blast it right at your face. And the Logitech is a pretty popular webcam to use. So that's some of the hardware. We'll cover a little bit more at the end, but uh, software is the next most important thing. And the software 
Some of it is free, some of the options are paid, so you want to kind of balance your budget versus you know, what's going to be the most polished, what's going to be the best option for the setup that you have. That's the big question. So you want to read up on that stuff as much as you can. With OBS, that's what I use right now, it is free, it's open, there is a lot of development always going on with it, but it seems to work pretty well and is really good, especially if you're on a PC. A program like XSplit is kind of the next level up. I believe there's a monthly fee associated with it, but it's not too bad. You pay, and it's a little bit more polished than OBS, but depending on how your setup works, it could be better, it could be worse, it could be a little bit more locked down. Uh, then there's programs out there like Wirecast, which are very expensive, but really allow you to have an enterprise level setup with multiple cameras and shots and tools and widgets and backgrounds and crazy stuff. Uh, that is out. It's a little bit ahead of some other programs. You also have Elgato. They have a native software with their capture card that you can use to capture or stream out. So that's an option that you can look at too. Really search, just start reading up on them and whatever you think the best option for your setup is, is the way to go. After picking the software, you really got to start tweaking the settings. If you have specific questions, you can either leave them in the comments or Google them, but basically Lining up your microphone and your uh, camera so that they match, that the lighting is okay, you know, trying to get as cheap lighting as you can start with and then looking to upgrade over time. Um, getting your encoding settings down so that your computer can handle it with the frames and the size and that when you record it looks good or it's lined up or that the audio isn't choppy. Those are some things that take time and really the only way to fix those is to go live, kind of see hey chat how's my audio sound oh it sounds a little hollow let me try this or my mouth's not lining up what if i uh, use this setting to delay it by 0.2 seconds okay now it's ahead okay 0.1 okay now you're good and those are kind of the the ways that you can really adjust and tweak the settings that's some of the most frustrating things you go through as a streamer is you finally get all the equipment the hardware boom you load up the software everything's running but it just won't work the way you want it to work. And then that's where all the little tweaks and things come into play and really uh, get you up and running. So once you kind of determine what equipment you're gonna go after, uh, then you have some more bells and whistles that you'll wanna add. An example of a bell and whistle uh, is like a hardware piece here. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. It's a, not a necessity really for any streamer, but it is helpful and can make your stream more polished. I can review that for you at a later time. Something I would recommend is Streamlabs or Twitch Alerts, same thing. You set that up and then it goes in the top left corner of your video. If somebody follows, boom, you get a flash notification while you're streaming or if somebody subscribes, boom. Uh, very good thing to have, keeps people engaged, rewards people for following, they get their name flashed up and it's something free, easy, simple and will really help uh, build up your community. So. I'll go over that in another specific video, exactly how it works. Basically, it's a green screen that you put on your monitor, you capture it, and then when something flashes up on there, it's hidden, but because the green then goes away, it makes it work. So it's, it's a little bit tricky to understand until you really see it, but the, the minute you see it, you'll get it, and I'll do that in a future video. The next question is, what type of games are you going to play? What type of stream are you going to go for? What type of community do you want to build? Because the type of streamer that you be will be the community that you get. Uh, do you want to be a giveaway streamer who has exclusive access to stuff and just gives stuff away and builds, tries to build their community up that way? Because that can create a certain type of community. Do you want to be an educational, informative streamer who maybe helps people get better at the games that they like or do you want to be an entertainment streamer where you wear sunglasses and you yell at your camera and you'll get a different type of community that way so there's a lot of different options obviously the best streamers blend a lot of those elements in their streams but think about that before what games do i want to play do i want to play new games that's going to be expensive to keep up playing new games all the time but if you get some traction well then maybe that's the way that your hobby can cover itself so those are some things that you want to uh, consider before you go live. Do you only want to play Castlevania from 20 years ago and you don't care who watches? That's another thing too. It's totally cool. The last element, and it's really the reason most people fail, is because of the consistency. So even if you can just stream one day a week, but you're consistent and you continually do it and it's set out at a certain time and people know when you're going to be live, that's much better than just streaming three times a week, but at random sporadic times 
maybe you stream two days in a row, but then you take two weeks off. Uh, then you stream three days in a row and take another week off. Like the consistency of the once a week is much, much better than it is just to go live at random times. Uh, you'll, you'll have more success that way. The last thing to consider is really the opportunity that you have in front of you. If this is something that you're interested in and you've waited, look, 2018 is just a few months away. You have the opportunity at Christmas. You have the opportunity, maybe if you have a birthday coming up, to start to ask for some of the equipment that you need, for some of the things that you're trying to save for. If you have a summer job, those are the things you want to put towards. There's more opportunity than ever. We already said you are not too late to get started. So if you have specific questions, let us know in the comments if you're wondering, is my current computer good enough? Uh, what microphone should I go to next? I already have the Logitech, but I really want to step my game up and go to this next camera. Is that a good move? You can leave those in the comments and then we'll make specific videos about each of those individual topics. So like I said, if Twitch alerts is something that you want where, boom, I want those flash up notifications. I heard you talk about it. You said it's a good thing to do, but how exactly do I do it? Uh, that is something that we'll cover in a future video that will hopefully make it much more clear. We'll give you some examples of it on the stream. What software is the best? Can you compare them for me? That would be very helpful. We'll do that. All right, guys, this is Farrell's. Until next time, reminder, lock up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk soon.